everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm Kadest, and this is where I share tip, guidance, insight, resources on how to, you know, fully self-express, how to develop yourself, how to use the manifestation principles to attract and manifest the things that you want, how to develop your consciousness, and all of that good stuff that makes life the enjoyable journey that it can be. Now, I've been doing a co-creation and manifestation rule book series here on my YouTube channel. And in this installment of the co-creation and manifestation rule book, rule five, I'm going to talk about trusting the process. So the fifth rule in the series is trust the process. Now, if you're new to the series, I highly encourage you going back and watching the previous four posts on the topic. The first one talks about the value of coming from a place of cooperation and what that co-creatively opens up to you. The second rule is to not create plan Bs as though you are going to go off on a different direction and sort of leave your intention off to the side, but rather to create a perspective of stepping stones. If you need to create more believable steps that you feel more receptive to than your bigger intention or vision. The third rule book was about gathering intelligence and not going by intuition alone. Intuition is a valuable sort of introspective, a higher sense that you can make use of, but there's a lot of value in asking questions and gathering more information and, you know, moving along your manifestation journey, utilizing all of your intelligences. And the fourth one talked about telling empowered stories. Now, telling empowered stories is something that I've touched upon in a number of different resources that I've shared, whether it's on my podcast or on blog posts. And that's a key one that speaks to your ability to use your ability to cognitively regulate, emotionally regulate, to ensure that you are generating your interpretations, expectations, anticipations, and narratives that really support your ability to be successful in the process of attracting and manifesting the things that you want. Now, you know, what brings all of that, you know, together, what helps gel your manifestation experience so that you're really enjoying your co-creative adventures is developing your sense of trust, increasing your sense of trust in the process, in yourself, in your co-creative partners, and in the broader, you know, intelligence, the, the universe, if you will. So trust yourself, trust your co-creative partners, trust the manifestation process, trust the universe, you know, develop that embodied sense of trust in what you are able to bring about in your co-creative adventures. Now, trust is a multidimensional cognitive and emotional, it's like it's a psychological and emotional resource that you can develop and that you can grow. And all of those facets that I've talked about, trust in yourself is something that you can develop, that you can improve, trust in your relationships, whether they're professional co-creative relationships, personal co-creative relationships, or what have you. Trust is something you can develop that you can increase in those relationships. Trust in the manifestation process is something you can develop and increase. Trust in the universe, trust in the broader landscape of life, the broader processes of life is something that you can develop and increase. So whichever dimension you look at when it comes to trust, recognizing that it is a cognitive and emotional internal process that you can develop, that you can improve, that you can increase, can help you, you know, stand in that embodied place of trusting your ability to co-creatively attract and manifest the things that you want. And there are things that you can do to develop and increase your trust in each of those dimensions that I, I've mentioned. I won't touch much on developing trust in yourself and in your relationships, that's a, a topic I can cover on under a different umbrella of conversation and teaching material. But the 
manifestation process itself, the way to increase your trust in your understanding of co-creation and manifestation success is to do what you're doing now, to tune into empowering material like this one. In my Manifestation Masterclass, I provide a detailed map of how you can approach attracting and manifesting the things that you want. And what those kinds of maps do, at least the way that I create them, is they equip you with the internal representations, the mental models, the ideas, understandings, insights that allow you to trust co-creating, attracting and manifesting the things that you want as being a repeatable, reliable process that you can participate in again and again and again. So trust the process because it works. And how you'll know that it, it works and that it can work for you is by beginning to, you know, acquire the knowledge that you need, beginning to attract the information, the intelligence, the knowledge, the understandings that you need to have an empowered map of manifestation and how to create enjoyable manifestation journeys. So I encourage you to think about that, you know, the, the, Co-creation and manifestation rule book series that I've I've put here are here to serve as a resource to help you to equip you with the kinds of understandings and approaches and tools and skill development that you can you know engage in to bring about effective, enjoyable, successful manifestation journeys for yourself. Manifestation works. I say this a lot, and it can work for you. What will allow that to be what you experience is the effort that you put into developing the various skills and competencies that make you cognitively, emotionally, energetically, relationally, and co-creatively effective. Hey, if you like this, head on over to my website, check out, sign up, and take my Manifestation Masterclass. It's over five hours of on-demand video training with lifetime access to future course lessons that I'll add to help you effectively, successfully, co-creatively attract and manifest the things that you want.